Take Sloppy Joes to a new level with tender mashed, but excuse me, tender sweet potatoes. Standing in for the bun, it's the final recipe of our Real Good Food series that has been so inspiring this week. We are finishing things off with a new favorite. Can I talk today or can I talk I today? I don't know. Well, Wendy Paul can talk <laughs> and she is here sharing the recipe for these grown up Sloppy Joes, which is yes. so funny because we just had Sloppy Joes at our house last Sunday. I haven't made uh -huh. it in years. I pulled out my mom's recipe. Right. And the kids did pretty good on it. So this is good. a way to dress it up for not just kids, but adults too. Right. And I, you know, I had them a lot growing up as yes. a child too. Yeah. And it's one of those favorites I brought back, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. And so then I was like, let's throw out the bun, right? Let's it be a little bit healthier in yeah. our lives. And so potatoes are one of my favorite vessels. I mean, look at that, right? They're hearty, they're healthy. I think they get a bad rap. They're you, really, really good. You so, took the word out of my mouth, which was vessel. I mean, we really, yeah, we really it say that, but like it's it, a little it can be a vessel for a lot of things, it including can. sloppy joes. Including, and not limited to, and sloppy joes. And not limited joes. to, yeah. Right, so this is just delicious. And I made it a little bit healthier using ground turkey. So oh, okay. a lean meat. And I've got it browning with a sweet onion. Is that and what we're then, smelling? It smells guys, amazing in here. What? <gasps> frozen peppers I didn't already know. diced. I didn't know this existed. They do in the frozen food section. And I love to keep some on hand for recipes like this, last minute things okay. or, you know, soups, stews, and sloppy joes. Yeah, good so, filler. Good filler, right? Uh -huh. And so it smells got, so good in here. I just put the seasonings okay, in. Okay, that's so what I'm smelling. I did garlic, oregano, some chili powder, mm -hmm. and some salt. And then we're gonna add a little brown sugar and we could do monk fruit sweetener too. You know, brown sugar. I feel like What's, it's in reference okay. a lot this week, actually. It is. I really like monk fruit. It doesn't have an aftertaste. Do you use it a lot? I do use it a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some diced tomatoes. You could also do crushed tomatoes, mm -hmm. Brooke. So just use what you have. Mm -hmm. A little Dijon or like an herbed mustard. Okay. Just to add your layer of flavor mm -hmm. to your dish. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a little apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. mm, that's that tang, right? Love it, love it. So you've it. got the, the savory, the sweet, and the tang all in this recipe. Mm -hmm. So while your sweet potatoes are cooking in the oven, I like to wash them and then prick them, put them in with the skin on, and roast them. And while they're roasting, I would assemble this. How long? You know, depends on the size of the potato. Sure. Like, okay, let's in, be in reference. Oh, here we go. So like for a large potato, mm -hmm. I would do probably an hour at 400. Okay. So if they're smaller, like some of them you get in the bags and they're a little bit smaller, maybe 35 minutes at how, 400. How do you know it's done? Just well, feel fork, it. Fork test? Oh, I yeah. like to feel it. Yeah. Okay. So you want it to be soft uh -huh. and squishy, uh -huh. but somewhat firm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I mean, when we say... Not a lot to do with this recipe, but you gotta think about it an hour in advance. Yeah, think about it in advance. You could also cook your potatoes in an instant pot or even a slow cooker. Okay, okay. all right. So options. there's options if options. you don't think ahead, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think we should assemble. What Let's do you think? Let's do, I agree. Let's I concur. assemble and eat. Okay, we? I concur all two right. times. So, um, and just so you all know, I do have a really picky eater. So I did a regular <laughs> potato because okay. he won't eat sweet potatoes. So, you know, just do what yes. your family likes, right? Do what your family will eat. Okay, so we're just gonna cut down the middle. Right? You know what's funny is Penny, our one-year-old, is proving to be our best eater. Is she really? Ever. She oh. puts her brother and sisters to shame, which I we just celebrate. That. I know, it's fun. I love that. It's Maybe super she'll fun. be a foodie. Maybe she will. Maybe, okay. So you're just gonna pop it open, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna create a little spot, like a little vessel, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys, as you can tell, all right? So there's your little vessel. Okay. And then you're gonna put this yummy, yummy, I'm sweet, here for savory, it. and sour. Yes. Right? Yes. Just right in the middle. So I like simple dinners like this, Brooke, where it's like a one size fits all, one right. pot fits all. So right. you don't have to do like 50 different items for dinner. You can do your meat, your potato, and mm -hmm. then I like to do a little arugula on top. Oh, you're okay. getting fancy on this. So everyone except the 10 year old likes arugula. <laughs> so we will leave his potato blank, yeah. like no yeah. arugula. Yeah. If you want to spice it up, you could always put in, this is a great seasoning I found. It's a sriracha powder by oh. McCormick. Okay. Really, really good. Easy How hot. way to spice it up. It is spicy. Yeah. So like a little bit goes a long way. Okay. Like, that's all. Done. Done. Dunsy. Okay. Okay. I like to do a little green onion, mm -hmm. right? You are packing this. Why not? Yes. And then some jalapeno. Okay. We do like it spicy at our house. So okay. we're big into jalapenos and you've got a delicious dinner ready yes. to go. 
It's what we're calling the mm -hmm. grown-up sloppy joe. We grown threw out the buns. Joe. We replaced that with potato of your choice. Right, right. But we're proposing the sweet potato as a yeah. good vessel. Good Can't vessel. wait, Wendy. Thank you. Where can we no. get more recipes and ideas from you? So follow me on Instagram, the real Wendy Paul. Lots of fun. We have so much fun, and I share lots of great recipes, lots of remakes. She's your go-to yeah. come dinner time, that crunch Thank time you. where we all get panicked. She will swoop in and save your dinner life. Thank you, you so much. Yeah,